I was just thinking, what about if I wanted to use the Kelly kettle indoors and to use any extra heat which is coming out of the top of the Kelly kettle uh, to just add to the temperature inside the flat. So I thought, what about putting one of my bioethanol burning tins inside the device? Now, essentially, I don't know what's going to happen as far as like the distribution of flame is concerned. If the flame goes up too high out of the top of the chimney of the Kelly kettle, I could be, I could be in trouble. Okay, you know, I mean... We've seen wood gas type flame reactions coming out the top of this that were massive before. If um, there's a problem with me using the Kelly kettle in this way, and you know there's um, too much in the way of flame coming out the top, I cannot use it indoors using bioethanol uh, in one of those tins. I've tried using a Trangia before, it provided some heat, yes, but it didn't actually provide enough to provide a full boil to the water. What it was good for was um, providing some tall flames you could use for, you know, some some kinds of cooking at the top of the pot, but essentially nothing really serious. So this is just another level um, of my self-education about how else to use the Kelly kettle and how else to use something which is burning. Now, now last night I actually tried to use some of my homemade alcohol to clean the bathroom. This is the alcohol that's left over, full of little bits inside. Uh, so that's germs, bacteria, God alone knows what else, you know, dead bodies of microorganisms. Um, don't really want to burn that indoors, so I'm going to try burning that outside and see what happens. Outdoors temperature for those who are curious, uh, 1.2 degrees Celsius. Okay, I'm filming it from inside because it's pretty cold outside and there's snow coming down. Uh, you know, it's difficult. Um, so you may have seen a few bits of steam coming out the top. Yep, slight touch of ethanol flame. Um, just touching the bottom of the wok which I put on the top to keep the snow out. So that's obviously quite positive. Will that be enough to actually warm the water enough? And I'm being tickled by the cat right now, so that's quite cute. <laughs> okay, there's definitely visible distortion coming out from the chimney which shows that there's heat coming out the top. So the alcohol must therefore be burning, but again the question, the immortal question is, is it enough to actually generate real heat? Reasonable flames, but it's not, you know, it's coming out the top, it's not too dangerous looking. So that's okay, I probably could use it indoors, using alcohol as a fuel. Sure as hell is getting hotter. Uh, we got steam. We haven't got a rolling boil yet. Mm, we got flames in there. Don't know whether you can see them or not, but we got them in there. Still using this uh, rusty wok. It's just like as an umbrella to keep the water or the snow, in this particular case, off the alcohol flames. Give it a couple minutes, see if we can actually get a proper boil, but that's getting hot. Hang on. Yeah, there was actually some visible steam or vapor coming out of the whistle. Just a little while longer. Still got quite a bit of flame inside there. Not that much alcohol, but still going. More vapors coming out of the whistle. Could be there soon. It could be there very soon. Or maybe not. I think that's probably the best we're going to get, actually. But never mind, it's still very hot. And the flames still seem to be going. You can see I used a piece of paper as a wick to try and get flame down into the tin, and I lit it from the outside. fire's gone out. We don't have a full boil. I did only use about 125 milliliters of ethanol alcohol in the tin. The kettle is very hot to the touch and so essentially you can still heat up water using a half liter bioethanol fireplace tin in the inside of a Kelly kettle using paper wick to set fire to the alcohol and I'm going to use that water now 
for the purposes of having a nice cup of tea. Absolutely splendid. 